Hello, in this session, we will look at an introduction to AWS. So we'll basically get an understanding of what is AWS, what it does, and uh, we'll also talk a bit about the services it provides and the global infrastructure. Now, in the last session, we discussed about the different cloud service providers we have. So we have AWS, we have Azure, we have uh, Google Cloud, we have Alibaba Cloud, we have Digital Ocean. Likewise, we have lots of cloud service providers that you can choose from. Now, uh, we are going to look at your AWS. So AWS is one of the very popular cloud service provider that we have when we talk about your cloud computing. Once again, before we start off with this session, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. So AWS or Amazon Web Services as we call it. Now this is one of the cloud computing services or the cloud service provider that we have. And this offers you with a broad set of your cloud-based resources like your compute, your storage, your databases, your analytics, your networking. So everything like your uh, servers, your uh, database, your networking, all of these resources will be provided by AWS. So this also includes your uh, mobile, your developer tools, your IoT tools, security, enterprise applications and many more things. So all of these resources are available on demand so as an end user whenever we want these resources we can uh, use this we can uh, spin up the resources and we can start using it within few seconds and uh, it also follows your pay as you go pricing model so aws you're only going to pay for the resources you are going to use if you're not using any resources you don't have to pay any money so it follows your pay as you go pricing model so aws it provides you from your data warehousing solutions to deployment tools to uh, active directories to content delivery so there are over 200 aws services that are available like your iot services your media services your uh, customer engagement services then networking services so likewise there are over 200 plus services that are available in aws which has uh, different different use cases now these services uh, you can provision quickly without any upfront fixed expense. So to use these services, you don't have to pay anything upfront. You're only going to pay when you're utilizing those resources. Once you uh, use those resources, that is when you will be paying the cost. Now, because of this, it allows your enterprise companies, so big, big companies, your uh, startup companies, any small and medium sized businesses and also customers in the public sectors to access these resources, the building blocks that uh, we need to respond quickly to changing business requirements. So, you know, like uh, scaling up the infrastructure or scaling down the infrastructure or setting up new infrastructure, all those things can be done quickly based on the business requirement change that we have. So AWS, this was launched in the year 2006. So um, you know, it has been um, grown like anything. They have uh, introduced so many uh, new, new services. So this was launched way back in 2006 and it has been offering IT infrastructure services to businesses as web services which is now commonly known as your cloud computing all right so aws is there in the market from a very long time and that is one of the reason why aws is the market leader when it comes to your cloud service provider so one of the key benefits that we have in terms of your cloud computing is the opportunity to replace the upfront capital infrastructure so basically with your traditional infrastructure we have an upfront investment upfront expense that you'll have to make now that can be replaced with a variable cost when we are making use of your cloud computing and also you can scale this based on your business. So with the cloud, businesses no longer need to plan and procure services and other IT infrastructure weeks or months in advance. So when we talk about the traditional IT infrastructure, there's a lot of planning that goes in uh, there's a, the, the procurement of the servers and the infrastructure. So, you know, you will be spending weeks and months of time together on uh, planning that infrastructure, procuring that infrastructure, setting up the infrastructure. Now, all those things will go away 
with your cloud computing you don't have to spend any money in planning or procuring the servers all these resources are readily available for us in your cloud computing and we can start using that to set up the infrastructure so instead you can instantly spin up hundreds or thousands of servers in minutes and deliver results faster so you know like let's say you want to scale up to few hundreds of servers due to um, increase in your customers requirement you can instantly go and spin up these hundred servers and you can deliver this to your some customers to your end users so that they can start accessing the application that you are running so today aws provides you with a highly reliable scalable and low cost infrastructure platform in the cloud and this powers hundreds or thousands of businesses in 190 countries around the world so aws the infrastructure it is available all over the world there are different different regions where this physical data centers that are available so at the end of the day all these are your physical data centers which are managed and maintained by aws and we being the end users we will be utilizing these resources which are available in different different region in the form of virtualized resources so we'll have virtual servers virtual storage virtual networking and then so on so we have different different regions that are available all around the world and depending on the customer base depending on the requirement you can choose which region you want to use where you want to deploy the infrastructure so we will uh, look at the different different regions in the upcoming sessions but your aws is available all around the world and uh, this infrastructure is available in different different parts of the world so that's basically an introduction to uh, aws that's all for this session thank you once again before you leave please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and if you like the video leave a like and please share the video